so I wanted to explain to a few of you why it may not be such a good idea to continue stretching your hamstrings when they feel tight. So for example, I get quite a few people in who tell me that their hamstrings are feeling really, really tight. As a consequence, the advice is always to stretch it as much as they can. They do that, it never seems to get any better and it also, if anything, seems to be getting worse and I wanted to explain to you why that actually might be. So I've asked Sydney to give me a hand um, to try and ex help explain to you what's going on. So when I get people in uh, for a biomechanics assessment, one of the tests we do is for sciatic issues pretty much. Now, the sciatic nerve runs from the base of the pelvis all the way down the back of the leg and all the way to the top, okay, or to the bottom of the foot. Now, you've got a sciatic nerve on both sides of, of each leg, despite what people think that it's only one leg, it's not, it's both, you've got one in each leg. And the way we do this assessment is that I get clients lying down, I hold the back of the leg and I'm going to lift it up into pretty much a bit of a hamstring stretch and what I'm going to ask for is if they feel any uh, tension, any tightness or any tingling at all then to let me know exactly when they feel it and where they feel it. So for this what they should do is they should feel it in the back of the hamstring, okay so the back of the thigh. Now that's what we're looking for. Now if they feel it anywhere other than the back of the thigh, then this potentially can be caused by the sciatic nerve pulling, okay? Because this is a hamstring stretch. So if you feel it in the bottom of your calf or your foot or your back, it's obviously not your hamstring that's being stretched. So it can potentially be a sciatic nerve that's actually being pulled in this position. Now, with this, you've got for example, if this is your sciatic nerve, when we lift the leg up, again, it's a sciatic nerve that could potentially be, be being pulled if it's tethered down somewhere or if it's compressed, say, by the piriformis muscle. Now, the body doesn't want to injure a nerve, okay? It will do anything in its power to protect your nerves. So if it thinks it's being overstretched, or especially if it's stretched at force, it's going to protect it in some way. And one of the ways it does protect it is it sends all the muscles around the areas to tighten up, to try and stop it, stop you from pushing it any further. So this is where when you start stretching and you're feeling that pull, it may be that you're actually feeling the pull of the sciatic nerve as opposed to the hamstring. So when you try and stretch it even further, you're stretching the nerve even further and the body is going to protect it even more. So this again is where the tightness starts to come in even further. So this is exactly why stretching isn't always a good idea. No matter how many clients I get in, they always tell me that they haven't, uh, they haven't been stretching as much as they probably should be. There's no right or wrong way, but chances are if you're stretching over and over and over again, and you're doing the same thing, and it's still not changing, then chances are it's not your hamstrings that are the issue, there's something else that is actually going on. So I just wanted to share that with you today, so um, hopefully that'll help a little bit more in uh, letting you understand what might be going on.